in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into your site header on Squarespace 7.1. So here is the site header. It's basically what appears on the top of every page of your website. So it can be your site title, your logo, your navigation, social links, a button, lots of things going on here. So let's go ahead and click edit and take a look. So when you edit, you'll roll over and click edit site header to edit all the things in here. And we're just gonna go through the settings together. So we have global settings, we have settings for just desktop and settings for just mobile. So we'll take a look at all three of these. Global settings, this is where you set your site title. So if I change my site title here to be Lloyd's Llamas, you'll see it here. Now, if instead of a text-based title, you want to add a logo, you can do that. And I will upload one that I downloaded here from Canva Cafe Bar Logo. There we go. Um, so if you want to create a nice logo really easily, I recommend Canva. I'll put a link to that below. That's what, um, that's what I've used here for this demo. And you can change the logo height which means that you're changing the size of the logo here. So this changes it on desktop and there is a separate button here or slider to change it on mobile. So unfortunately we can't see what it looks like on mobile, but I'm just gonna take a guess that I probably want it to be about 50 pixels. And if you wanted to, you could add a different logo to show up on mobile. So you would only add something here if you wanted a different logo to show up on mobile devices. I'm gonna leave that empty. And let's just click back and take a peek at our mobile site. And that looks like a good size. So I think I guessed pretty well. So we've looked at site title and logo. Next, let's take a peek at elements. So here you have the option of adding a button on your site. So if you'd like to add that, you can turn it on. It automatically puts it on the far right. You can change the type and you can, the text type, and then you can also set where it links to. So change the text and then here you're going to choose a link. So if you want this to link somewhere in your own website, the easiest way to do that is go to the cog icon and go to pages and then you would select one of the pages on your website. So if I wanted this to go to contact, I'd click here and click save. So now I have a contact button. I don't love the button here for this particular design because it's pretty clean. So I'm gonna turn that off and it goes away. But if you want a button, that's how to add one. You can choose to show or hide your social links in your header. I'm not a huge fan of social links in the header. I like them in the footer because once people get to my website, I kind of want to keep them here for a little while. So I typically don't put social in the header unless it's really important. So I'm going to also turn those off. You can click here to edit the social links and you would just paste in the link to your own Instagram or Twitter. And then for these, you could click to remove. You can also reorder them by dragging and dropping. So you can change those links. You can change the size. You can make them really big. You can make them really small but I'm going to turn them off for now. Another option is to turn on the cart icon. So we have that here and you can change the size of that. Um, it doesn't really change a whole lot. It's pretty much from 25 pixels to 40. So you're not going to see a whole lot of changes there. And account login is turned on. So if you are allowing commerce customers to start an account when they check out with you, you can turn on account login, you'll see a login button here. So I don't have that set up for the site, which is why you don't see login here. And if you had members areas also turned on, um, you would see a login here for members areas. So let's leave these, I was gonna turn these off, but let's leave them so you can see what um, some of our options are like for the header layout, and then we can turn them off later. So we've looked at elements, next looks Let's look at colors. So transparent, this is not a great example of transparent. So let me change things up a bit and I'll show you what transparent means. So let's back out of here. And if I were to, let me save these changes. If I were to have a background image here um, behind my first section, transparent just means that the header would overlay that. So let's take a look at what that might look like. Um, 
let's just search images and choose these weird robot people. Um, it's probably not the look you'd want to go for on your website, but it will give a good demonstration of transparent. So you can see I've added this image and the header is overlaid on that background. Now, if I go to edit site header and for colors, I turn off transparent. You can see that now that background starts with a section that I included it in and it doesn't go up underneath the site header. Now, just because this is hideous, let's remove it because I don't want to look at it. And let's go to edit site header. I mean, not that it's a bad photo, right? But it just doesn't go with this website. Um, so colors. Now that it's not transparent, we can actually choose the theme for the header. And this is how you would choose section themes for your whole site. So we have lots of options here. We could go light minimal, which makes this kind of a light gray. This will be a more startling change. Dark minimal, black minimal. This um, actually has the same as accent dark as black minimal. You can change these up in colors later um, and it would propagate the colors through here. But let's go back to our white minimal because that was nice and calming. So colors. Now fixed position is another option we have. It's turned off right now, which means that, let's save this. As I scroll the site, the header doesn't stay put. So, oh, I accidentally clicked. There we go. So as you scroll, you lose the header here. It disappears. Now, if we were to go into site header and choose fixed position, we have a couple of options here. There's scroll back and there's basic. So first let me show you basic. So now if I scroll, my header is gonna stay here on top. So you see the header at all times. And if instead you want to choose scroll back, that means that the header disappears as you're scrolling until you start to scroll back up and then the header reappears. So let's get further down the page and you can see, boom, the header drops in and stays there. So those are the options I prefer for this one. Let's do not fixed position. There we go. So that is everything on the global settings. Let's pop into desktop. So we have some options here for header layout. And let's look at these. So my current layout is logo with my navigation really close to the logo and my button to the right. We have a few different options here. We'll just click through these. This places, this is a more traditional navigation with everything logo to the left, everything else to the right. Um, this is the one that we had before. This one's pretty cool. It centers the navigation here, leaves your button and social and cart and all that stuff on the right. You can center your logo and have nav on the left, buttons, social cart on the right, or you can have your logo on top of the nav, which puts social to the left, button on the right. Well, let's go back to, let's mix it up. Let's go to this one. But what would be kind of weird is if I turned off the contact button and the social icons, this would just kind of be floating here. So if you end up doing that, I would recommend going back to nav to the right. So we also have the option of a full width header or an inset header. So inset means that it is insetting um, this information. So it is more narrow and obviously full width means full width. It goes from end to end. We have vertical padding options. So as I change this, you can see that my header gets really tall or it can be very short. So. There's a sweet spot in here. This is going to depend on your logo and how much white space you have around your logo when you bring that in. We also have an option for element spacing. That's gonna space these guys out from one another. So it preserves the spacing between the nav, but it changes the spacing between the nav and social and social and um, buttons. So you can change that. And then here is a different option for link spacing. This changes both the link spacing between the nav and between the social, which I think is a little weird. Um, so I sometimes add custom code to keep these guys closer when I spread these out. So that is the desktop portion of our site header. Let's now go to mobile and not as many options here. So for our header layout, we can choose um, 
a few different options here. And you would think that our button would be showing up here. It should be. Don't know why it's not. So let's um, <clears throat> assume that this is just a temporary glitch and we have nav logo on the left, nav on the right, logo center, nav right, logo and nav right, or nav left, logo center, and again, nav left, logo right. So all of those, this is kind of the most traditional layout. So if we click, if we save this and go to the mobile, we can click on our nav here and that's where we can see all of the stuff that was in our nav bar. So yeah, our button's showing up here. I don't know what's going on with that menu right now. So maybe just a glitch. Let's go back to mobile and let's go to overlay menu. That is this guy. So when I clicked nav, that um, creates the overlay for the words, our navigation here, social contact. We can change the alignment of these guys. We can make them left, center, or right. Center is traditional. We can change the spacing between the nav links, which is just these here on mobile. And we can also change the color. So if I wanted to make this dark minimal, I could. Um, the menu icon, you can change this guy. So you can have a traditional hamburger menu. You can have two lines. You can have three staggered lines or a plus icon. And that brings us to the end of our site header options. Um, hope you found this helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your website.